Hey, hello YouTube. I'm Karan from India, and this video is a challenge of 10 minutes to create an advanced clickable button with mouse hatch over in the CMD console within 10 minutes. So it seems quite a long project. So let's see if we can achieve it within 10 minutes. So I have created a setup here for the sake of saving time and for this project what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a simple button function version 2.0 by kvc so let me grab that function first and it is here so let me copy all the files and paste this inside it so as you can see here all files are here inside the advanced file so let me increase the size of this let's begin so the clock is started so let's start coding I write the general lines for the patch programs and change the title to button project where is the R button project with mouse edge over so let's see if we can achieve it in 10 minutes Let, uh, we're gonna create two buttons on the console so simply call the button function before that what we need to do is we need to change the directory to files folder in which our old plugins are located and now we can call the button function easily call button dot bat and then the x and y for the first button so let it be 5 comma 5 and color should be 80 and the button text should be I am a button and let's print the other button on 25 comma 5 the color let it be same again and what it will say is so am I a potato <laughs> let's print these two buttons and terminate the sequence with X and from the sequence of button function the syntax of the button function I am following these things so I am saving it in two variables it is not necessary to write underscore in front of your name of the variable but I am habitual to this because it differentiates the variable with other text and it it reduces the chances for overwriting the variables uh, now what we're gonna do is the button are printed and we just need to use get input for to disable the mouse input just write here uh, 500 and there is no a sky button on my keyboard that has a sky code as 500 so in in a way we have disabled the keyboard and now i am going to check for the mouse input for the box variable and the hover color i am going to provide is not the hover variable i am going to use here 70 and in the title we are going to display that button number percentage error level percentage is clicked and we are going to again go to loop so we have not mentioned loop anywhere so here we are going to mention loop so clear the screen here again 
then print the button and so on so i think that's all to make such an advance buttons on the cmd console all is taken care by the button function version 2 so there are the two buttons i am a button and as you can see the buttons are enabled with mouse edge over and you can click on them if you will click anywhere else it will not detect the click because we have not told it but button 1 is clicked button 2 is clicked and on the mouse edge over it is showing different colors as per our color code so that's an advanced approach and it's quite simple using the functions itself so we have created it in in 4 minutes and 37 seconds so it's a quite short project but the most of the work is done by the button function itself so if you will use the button function version 1 to and to achieve this much this much amount of output on the console will take ages and i am not sure if you can do that in within 10 minutes or 20 or 100 years so to reduce your efforts and working smart instead of hard because we have worked hard before to make the button function it's time to work smart using that button function to make our batch programs batch projects much more advanced so that's it i hope you like this video if you like my explanation in creating these functions and tutorials please subscribe to my channel please share my videos give it a thumbs up and please comment what do you think about the challenges and what do you think about me Bye -bye. thanks for watching